So as an update to yesterday's story about Jonathan Majors being arrested, his lawyer says that the woman in question has recanted her statement about being assaulted and that they have strong evidence to exonerate him of the charges he's facing. But it, it gets a little more specific, and I will pull that up for you to read right now. Quote, Jonathan Majors is completely innocent and is provably the victim of an altercation with a woman that he knows. We are quickly gathering and presenting evidence to the district attorney with the expectation that all of the charges will be dropped imminently. End quote. It goes on to say, This evidence includes video footage from the vehicle where this episode took place, witness testimony from the driver and others who both saw and heard the episode, others, and most importantly, two written statements from the, whim, the woman recanting these allegations. Now, dear, I, I don't want to crank that I told you so too powerfully in this video, but both of us had the completely correct reaction, which of course, was to was to demand a, a bit of evidence. Yep. I even said if they were in a taxi, then there should be like da dash cam footage. What I said is as a man of status, because yes, I've made some mistakes in my past, specifically as it pertains to whom I shared intimate audience with, because after that, they can say whatever they want and there will be no one but you to refute their claims. When you're a man of status, situate yourself among people who have your back, situate yourself in situations where there is recordings, there are videos that can be pulled from if somebody wants to just make up this story. And I, I don't know if I name dropped Amber Heard yesterday, but you know, sometimes people say things when they when they're dealing with somebody that they think they can get something out of. But it gets better than this to me, okay? Have you ever heard the phrase the accusation is trumpeted? But the apology is whispered? I don't think I've heard of that, no. Okay, so a lot of people had some things to say about Jonathan Majors in the very short amount of time that this story broke. Yep. There was no evidence, but they just went ahead and decided that it was time for them to say some things. Now... Something I'm not too familiar with or involved in is a story surrounding an ESPN, uh, I don't know, the ESPN employees being ordered to cover up the story of a, a person named Dana White, who ha there's video footage of him slapping his wife around, but people are effectively protecting him, right? However, this story with Jonathan Majors, sans proof without it, has just been blowing the internet up, so much so that some people... I don't know who the hell this is, but I would love to hear what they have to say. And I can see that it's not capturing properly one moment. You know who Tim Nikolai is? I don't know either, but maybe he's pertinent to somebody that's in the comments that can tell. He says, I'm just going to say this about Jonathan Majors and be done with it. Folks at Yale and the broader NYC community have known about him for years. He's a sociopath and an abuser. And... <laughs> And that is how virtually everyone speaks about him. Really? It's a shame it took this long for him to be reported. I'm already seeing a bunch of why didn't you do anything? The question that, of course, we would all have, bitch. Why you wait until now, bitch? You know what I'm saying? Because you're worried, more worried about your career when it's, you know, beneficial to you to stay quiet. But what are you going to cast blame on other people? It's, it's, this is bizarre. And it's not the only thing. So I'm going to read some of what other people had to say. Now that we understand that he is effectively going to be exonerated of these charges with video evidence to prove that he is not guilty of what he, you know, was being accused or charged with doing. And all these people are jumping to this woman's ridiculous defense, claiming she was having an emotional crisis. Yeah, yeah. I bet a lot of women have emotional crisis around men that they think they can get some money out of. 
with they broke, poor, lazy ass. You know what I'm saying? It's redundant to say broke and poor. Whatever. The guy goes on to say, ultimately, we needed a victim to come forward. It's both simultaneously awful to know he is still doing this and also a relief that he may never do it again. A bunch of us close with the people and sometimes multiple people he has directly harmed. I don't know if they will speak on it. It is completely their decision. So that's a, you know, that's a call to action. Uh, you, hey, people, come forward with your with your stories shitting on this black man because some bitch has something to say about him. And my nigga was intelligent enough because if there's multiple people with statements, then even the taxi driver who was cameraed up is willing to let loose some statements so that we can validate this claim that this woman had. You know what I'm saying? Because no, 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 no gender is right or wrong. It's about the fucking Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So I pull up this Reddit thread here because I was reading this earlier and I'm going to read it for you right now. Because this was a very lengthy thing that I felt, you know, oh, there must be something in here. As news of Jonathan Major's arrest broke, Twitter users began making their perspectives and, or perspectives known about the Avengers 5 actor. Back in February, filmmaker A.B. Allen tweeted about a beloved actor who, in actuality, is a vicious, cruel, abusive human being. Man, they just ready. All of this stuff is written up, drafted up. They got it in their, their, their saved messages to be released in the event of. Like, you put some memes in a folder in case of World War III. Quote, there's a particular actor relatively new on the scene who Twitter has violently fallen head over heels for. What's wrong with that? Salty. Jealous. What envy. Continuing, in actuality, is a vicious, cruel, abusive human being, both professionally and in his per per personal life. Provide the proof, bitch. Provide the proof, bitch. You got all this shit to say? Because you stood idly by in the midst of somebody acting like this because you didn't want to compromise your career, but we're supposed to believe you without proof. It's always talk with you people. Because the thing that made you come out and have something to say about this black man, my nigga, it's not true. So why don't you prove what you saying is true so you can spare people in the future? Maybe your shitty fucking career that you're so ready to be quiet for is not worth potentially future people being harmed the way you're trying to be righteous right now. If he's a bad boy, prove it. There ain't a lot of men that's just like, oh, I'm a, I'm a hit it and quit it. If they bad men, they're bad men. Prove he's a bad man. Continuing, every new viral thirst tweet about him drives me insane. Of course you're salty. Following the news of Major's arrest, a user tweeted, Now we know who this tweet was about, and a screenshot of A.B. Allen's previous tweet, Allen then simply responded, Ding, 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 ding. Which, of course, could draw a parallel to the boxing movie that he was just in, Dia. When pressed on why the user now will not share more, despite the public at large seemingly uh, seeing evidence of what was posted, A.B. Allen explained that it would still expose people who have been hurt. The specifics of what I know in, you know, it, it, this is a quote, quote, the specifics of what I know, unfortunately, would still expose people who have been hurt and deserve to not become part of some larger media inquiry if they don't want it. Nah, nigga, maybe people who have been through some shit should be questioned. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, continuing. So I'm not going to get into the details. Of course, you're not going to. But now y'all know what his deal is. Are you sure? What do we know? What happened to that whole innocent until proven guilty shit? Remember that? That only applies to people like Dana White. Damn. Listen to this. Society Theater co-founder and Broadway actor Tim Nikolai offered support on Twitter in a now deleted post. Multiple now deleted posts sharing that it's strangely a relief to know other humans were out there who understand. What the fuck? That's the tweet I just read.
this one I don't remember seeing. If casting directors like you, that's the currency. But nobody would call his ex's girlfriend at the time directors, professors. They just don't do that. And they should, is what Tim Nikolai. Let me find the picture of this white man. Tim Nikolai suggests that, uh, I guess, with a resume, should should they do that with the men that this nigga's probably dated? Ah! <laughs> it's not even a joke if it's true. I'm sorry, it's funny to me. I was just thinking of something different. You know what I'm saying? But this dude had this shit to say, implying, I guess, when you take a job, that you should be calling up your people's exes because they're going to have great things to say. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're just asking the question, were they violent? Because if there's anybody who's reliable, it's somebody that a person was intimate with and are no longer intimate with for whatever reason. You insane. These people insane. They, they say these kind. I know like actors are really sheltered and they live in a really a strange, just amusing little bubble. But people in the entertainment interest, uh, oh man, the dyslexia, people in the entertainment industry are the slaves. So that's why you have all this time to develop all this bio-like hatred for all these other people that you're jealous of the lives that you have. Why don't you have a mind to understand in the midst of your transgender tier, all silence is violence. This is genocide against us if you buy a video game that we don't like the author of the property for garbage. Like that's how out of touch and insane you come off when you're implying that for a role, you supposed to be calling niggas exes. I don't even want to talk about this anymore. But it's it's really fen fascinating. It's fa FNAF fascinating. And now I'm hearing Matt Pat didn't get invited. Like I care. All right. So guys, look, I just wanted to give that update. Of course, I told you, man. And I'm glad that this this was an intelligent enough dude to situate himself in a car would um not that he was probably thinking forward to do that but if you're wealthy and you're taking a taxi somewhere maybe it's a fancy taxi a taxi that will have a camera on you in case something goes wrong and this bitch want to claim some shit you know what i'm saying but if there were statements from other people i'm interested in seeing that and i hope that anybody in the discord will just kind of update me as it pertains to the video if that inevitably comes out it was amusing that dio was like what about the taxi cam footage and that's exactly what happened yep. Oh, but there's that. Love you. Talk to you soon. Man, T tell me how you feel about it. Tell me how you feel about it.